When evaluating personalities from the perspective of the sun and the moon in Vedic astrology, it gives a completely different picture. And this is what we will analyze in this series with case studies. Without the case studies, we'll be lost. We'll have no reference points or perspectives on how to look at this from an objectively scientific logical perspective. Yeah. So from the perspective of Vedic astrology, two guiding principles are the sun and the moon, the two luminaries that guide and focus our energies as a soul in particular directions. That's the principle, the sun and the moon. So number one, the rule is the ascendant nakshatra has the energies of the rising sun your rising sign also the external male principle what you display in the world what the personality wants to show in the world the physical personality the ego structures extroversion traits which are displayed externally external drives external impulses external behaviors etc the sun is all about shining forward it brings forth anything that to shine in the world it's an external male principle is the first one we should see the ascendant nakshatra the next one is the moon nakshatra which has the energies of mind as translated to emotional content the subconscious desires the deep-seated emotional tendencies and needs the introversion the emotional impulses you can also call it the emotional body this is the moon the second luminary so we are talking both about the display of external and internal and that's all we are in this polarized world when we come in as souls so let's evaluate with case studies one by one because we are talking about three kinds of ganas here the dev gana the manushya gana and the rakshasa gana and we are talking about ascendant and moon nakshatra in the placement in the birth chart so it gives us number of combinations which we shall see one by one so now let's discuss the ascendant being in dev gana and the moon nakshatra being in manushya gana that combination what does this lead to for this personality okay and we'll take it end with the case study these people are first of all idealistic and spiritual this person may be highly idealistic and drawn to spiritual or philosophical beliefs they may have a strong desire to find meaning and purpose in their life and may prioritize their spiritual or philosophical beliefs over material possessions or wealth they are creative and artistic they may possess a strong streak and be drawn to artistic pursuits such as music dance or visual arts they may be able to use their artistic talents to express their spiritual or philosophical belief systems logical and analytical they may possess a sharp mind and be able to think logically and critically about problems that comes from the manushya gana they may be drawn to careers in fields such as science engineering where they can use their analytical skills to solve complex problems these are our everyday people the brick and mortar they are self disciplined and self controlled they may possess a strong sense of self discipline and may be able to control their emotions and desires they may be able to maintain a steady course through their goals of life and may be able to restrict distractions and temptations they are assertive and confident they may be able to assert themselves and communicate their needs and desires clearly they may possess a quiet confidence that allows them to remain calm and composed even in difficult situations people with this combination may be motivated by a desire to find meaning and purpose in their lives they may be drawn to spiritual and philosophical beliefs that provide them with a sense of direction guidance and purpose they may also be driven by a desire for self improvement and personal growth and may be interested in learning new skills or expanding their knowledge beautiful combination isn't it now let's take up a case study 
Now we shall take the case study of the lady by the name A. We have taken her case before also if you wish to see the other videos. But now we are watching the ascendant. Her ascendant is in Pushya Nakshatra in Cancer in the third pada. And her moon is in Uttara Falguni Nakshatra in the second pada. Uttara Falguni being Manushagana and Pushya Nakshatra being Devgana. So what does this lead us to? So ascendant, the energy is of patience, wisdom, kindness, optimistic by nature, growth, positivity, analysis of relationships, dependable, and they might have a little jealousy on the downside. They work for the generosity of the community, very futuristic. And they may have a nourishing speech and voice with universal compassion and artistic success in the third pada. Because this is in the third pada. It's important to remember the third pada. Also watch that this lady has a very strong earth element to it. So she might be very practical in her approach, even in artistic and spiritual pursuits and which is necessary. That's her ascendant and it's third pada. It goes from Cancer to Libra in Navamsha. Now, her moon nakshatra being in Uttara Falguni, the Manushya part, gives her success through partnerships and marriage, enduring relationships, negotiation, very adventurous. They are good negotiators. They have a sense of righteousness and kindness. They are action oriented. Now her moon is in the second pada going to Capricorn. So it will be about management and delegation, investments, contracts and commitments, deals, ethics and rules because Capricorn has a lot to do with that. In the second pada, Virgo goes into Capricorn. So Uttara Falguni here wants to achieve practicality and that ties in with her earthly element also which is very high above average as you can see. So this lady has made a career and now is retired and she has worked in the corporate ladder and achieved success as the corporate communicator head of corporate communications that's what she retired as and now she is following her spiritual path and that is obvious isn't it by her analysis of what we just did so this is the way you analyze you look at the ascendant nakshatra and the gana and the moon nakshatra and the gana of that and then you'll get the general demeanor of what the personality is and what the soul is looking through that personality to accomplish and achieve in this life. This will give them the greatest joy, the greatest happiness, success, contentment. Success as in contentment. I define success not as something externally given by humans because that is very fleeting and that has no lasting impact on the soul. What you are here to see as your success should come from within your heart. That's the real success you are looking for in life. And this is what this kind of technology of Vedic Astrology will be helpful in understanding, analyzing and using in your life. In the next one, we shall take another combination. Meanwhile, be safe, be healthy, be happy and joyful.